You're about to go deeper behind the curtains of truck technology than ever before and get a close look at a major milestone in the evolution of the F-150. I'm surprised you guys are in here, actually. You'll witness key moments in the research and development as they happen. By taking out significant weight of the vehicle, keeping our strength and durability and toughness of the truck, we actually increase payload and towing capacity, and we can deliver fuel effectiveness for our customers. You'll watch as Ford rewrites the rules of truck technology with new materials and new systems. If we take these material steps now, it's revolutionary. The vehicle's lighter, so the braking system can stop the vehicle faster. You take the weight out, it translates into better towing, better hauling, makes the customer more productive. Better for building America, better for the planet. You'll see the extreme regimen of testing used to confirm capability, durability, and reliability, as only Ford does it. Whether this is made of a new material or not, it has to meet the same requirements that Ford trucks have to meet. We run these vehicles over some extremely harsh events, hundreds and thousands of times. This is the Built Tough test. Your chance to see the 2015 F-150 before it was the 2015 F-150. Coming soon, we'll show you how high-strength steel and military-grade aluminum alloy work together to bring the standards of capability and efficiency to a monumental new level. I'm Dean Martin with Rehagen Racing. I'm a driver of the number 50 Ford Mustang Boss 302. We're here for round 11 of the Pirelli World Challenge Series at Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. It's not a good season so far this year. We're sitting third points. We've got one win down at uh, St. Petersburg which is significant, uh, we'll get to later, but uh, we've made a lot of changes since the last round at Road America. So we're still working out a few of the chassis updates that we've done, but we're looking forward to having a good race here this weekend. I've been racing for about uh, 15 years now. Uh, I actually used to be a chassis development engineer at Ford Motor Company. And, uh, and I left Ford in 2005 and, and started racing full-time then and, and helped build Rehagen Racing. And that's really where my, uh, my relationship with Forgeline started. Uh, but more on the amateur level, where I, when we were doing some NASA American Iron, uh, we were using Forgeline wheels exclusively on all of our American Iron cars. But when we were running Grand Am, we were running a, a different brand of wheel. And, and, and until about uh, three or four years ago, we were still running that uh, Brand X wheel. I've been very happy with our change to Forge Line, uh, and, it's, and it's significant because I had a race win earlier this year at St. Petersburg, and uh, if I was running that other wheel at St. Petersburg, I probably wouldn't have finished the race because midway through the race, I tagged the wall at the apex of turn three and thought for sure my race was over. I was going to have a broken wheel, tire going down, but uh, I just pressed on, tire, wheel, everything lasted and went on to win the race and uh, I think if I had anything other than a forge line wheel on there I wouldn't have won that race. Okay, so it's a pretty simple formula. What you put in the back of your truck is all about what you put in the front of your truck. And here's the main ingredient. Ford Super Duty second generation 6.7 liter power stroke diesel, which makes this the most powerful Super Duty ever. It delivers more max towing power than any other pickup. 31,200 pounds. Yeah, that's nearly 16 tons, Professor. You're welcome. This is Ford Super Duty.
are driving the 2016 Ford F-150 Limited, and we've been driving it through some pretty brutal Manhattan traffic, and it's been great. It's been easy to drive, comfortable. I've had my massage seat going for a lot of this drive. Um, this truck has parking assist, so it will parallel park for you. All I need to do is adjust the transmission and uh, brake. This is mildly terrifying. I've never done wow. this before. Yep. Yeah, oh, that'll Rest. do it. Wow. Seat massager is definitely worth trying. We're gonna call up some uh, people from upstairs who wanted to come and check the truck out, so. Hey, we're right up front if you're ready. It feels so good. <laughs> I might not go back to work after this. Wow. I keep feeling it on my butt. It focuses a lot on the butt. Uh, I feel my butt moving. That's, a, that's about it. It's not... Yeah, it feels nice. I mean, oh! I must have the controls. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. You feel pretty well insulated in here, you know, between the massagers and having these big comfortable seats and good visibility. Let's put on my not kill people camera. <laughs> I'm not sure that we had that branded. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is bad Manhattan traffic mm -hmm. and it's okay. You know, I'm driving a large pickup truck, but it's okay. It's not hard. I don't, you know, having the blind spots, having the little camera, having all these things, I was actually making this a much less painful experience than it could be. Uh, this does not have Wi-Fi. No, it does not. We have to figure out ways to give them the product that they want. It's not a, it's not a play for, for just simply fuel economy. It's a, it's, it's a, it's an investment in what our customers are looking for. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this thing. I'm not necessarily a truck guy, but I get it. That for certain people, this thing makes a lot of sense. That this is, this will be a great truck for the right buyer, for someone who wants all this capability but wants to be comfortable and it's easy to drive. It's so easy to drive. So that was the 2016 Ford F-150 Limited. It is ridiculous. It's everything great about America. It gave me a massage. It relaxed me in traffic. It cost $60,000 and I love it. This is one product that I've been following every step of the way. This to me is the most important product we have, at least to me personally. I feel like an expectant uh, uh, parent, I think, because uh, this is our baby that we're unveiling. But every time we unveil a Mustang, the stakes are raised, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, but more than that, I'm really excited because I think people are gonna love it. We're a company with a heritage, which to me means history with a future. I think the, the attraction of Mustang is about all of us being able to express themselves in the ultimate idea of freedom. It is a very important car for us. There's not many nameplates make it to 50 years old. It's a brand and a car that has a soul. <laughs> Nobody ever had to give them the brief on what was the Mustang. A great car is a reflection of a great team. When you're redoing an icon like the Mustang, it's a combination of a great honor and extreme fear because you don't want to screw up an icon. It has power, it has speed, it has capability. The triple tail lines is something that I think is, is uniquely Mustang. The grill leans over and sort of really sort of lends itself to what Mustangs have been in the past. Underneath all this beautiful skin, there's some beautiful mechanicals as well. This is gonna be a different Mustang. It's gonna be a better driving machine. There have been many, many great sports cars from mainstream brands, but most of them never ever impacted the base imagery of the company. I think that having this car Having it perform the way it performs, it gives a lift to everyone and all of the other vehicles that are in the world.
It's about the hardware, but it's about the passion and the emotion. That's why I'm so excited about the new Mustang, because it represents all things that are good about Ford. This is the Ford F-150, and it's making every other truck history. I'm hooking up with Foursquare Builders to show them how the new F-150's unmatched towing strength can help them pull a house together faster and easier than any other truck. Insulation, roof sheathing and wall sheathing, the windows and the uh, roof package. The F-150 is carrying all the materials, all the tools and all the manpower needed to build this house. Got it. I have to say, I really like this truck. I mean, it handled this load great. It's a whole house on a trailer. The F-150's aluminum alloy sheet metal slashes almost 700 pounds from the truck. That frees up the engine to tow and haul more so you can get more done, proving once again that we own work and that every other truck is history. When you're out here, it's about catching the fish. But for a lot of us, it's also about capturing the moment. The best camera is the one that's in your pocket because it's the one that does the most for you. Great pictures, great video to show off your stellar casting, plus navigation, emergency calling, weather, and about a thousand fishing apps to up your game. And you can instantly share photos with buddies and brag to complete strangers on social networks. It's a camera with a lot going for it. Another camera you really rely on is built right into this baby the Ford F-150 with its available class-exclusive 360-degree camera with split-view display. It uses four cameras in the grill, tailgate, and under each of the side-view mirrors and composites the video on your center stack screen so you can see what's around your truck and navigate with more confidence. With new camera technology, your fishing adventure can be even better. To learn more, visit thefordoutfitters.com. Thousands of people told us how they test the new Ford F-150. Now the four toughest are going to show us what it can do where it matters most. The real world. Coming soon to BuiltToughTest.com. The future of tough. Its high strength, military grade, aluminum alloy body rides on the strongest F-150 frame ever. Fully boxed, roll formed steel. In fact, more high strength steel than ever before. Together, they slash up to 700 pounds from the truck. Less weight in the truck allows more weight in the cargo box and in the trailer. Because these revolutionary materials and methods boost power to weight performance by up to 16%, which helps it achieve best in class towing and best in class hauling with your choice of four powerful engines. There are also available innovations designed to make your job easier. LED box lights illuminate the cargo box, a class exclusive remote power tailgate release, and side mirror mounted spotlights so you can see what you're working on late at night. There's an available twin panel power moonroof and an available 110 volt 400 watt plug in outlet to keep tool batteries charged. An available power sliding rear window adds sleek design to the 2015 F-150. The new roomier interior surrounds you with contemporary materials developed for comfort and durability. An available 8-inch productivity screen keeps you informed with crucial data. This is the all-new F-150, and it is the future of tough. A lot of people don't understand that the King Ranch actually exists. So whenever they go to the dealership and they see a King Ranch edition, they go, well, you know, that's just a name, but it's not. This is the largest ranch in the state of Texas. 828,000 acres, 
It's a fully functional working ranch, and this is a perfect environment to get images of these vehicles actually uh, under working conditions. We're working with F-150s, 250s, 350s, expeditions. We're looking at people movers. We're looking at heavy haulers. We're looking at trucks that belong in the natural setting of a ranch. I was designated the state photographer of Texas in 1997 by the 75th legislature. The Ford folks thought that, you know, if we're going to shoot this big iconic ranch in Texas, why not have the only state photographer of Texas? It's all about being authentic and being genuine, and, and that's what's uh, characteristic of the F-Series brand in particular. And when you see Wyman uh, and you know about his background, um, he's a perfect fit. It was an easy decision, really. Wyman is not one of these guys that just went out and bought boots and called himself country. Wyman is the definition of country. He will tell them, you know, I'm here to shoot, don't mind me. If I get run over, I get run over. I know where to be, I know I'll have a fence close by, I'll run up on it. Just go about your work, do what you do. I'm just here to capture the essence of it. He's not asking them to do anything they wouldn't do on any given day. Wyman's just putting all the elements into place that would naturally be here. He's lived this life. He understands the, the lifestyle, but he's a great artist also, and, and he's got an eye for capturing just what we do out here. Ford King Ranch and Wyman are the real thing, and that's, and that's important down here. Hi, folks, Nathan Adlin here at the Fast Lane Car, and behind me is a brand new Ford Fusion, and it's a special one because it has a tiny 1.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged engine. Yes, and it represents a new way of thinking with mid-sized sedans because they are now starting to come out with smaller turbocharged engines that are efficient to power these vehicles. Think Hyundai Sonata if you want to compare. So coming up next, we're going to do a real quick 0 to 60 and see how it does over a mile above sea level. This is a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine and it's an EcoBoost, so it's turbocharged. Here's the cool part about it. Yes, it's small, but because it's like turbocharged, it puts out 181 horsepower and 185 pound feet of torque. And it's hooked up to a six speed automatic transmission going to the front wheels. Now here's the cool part about this engine. Altogether, you're getting 23 miles per gallon in the city, but more importantly, 36 miles per gallon on the highway for a combined total of 28 miles per gallon. And that is pretty impressive. Now you may be wondering why we're not doing a full-blown review on this vehicle, and there's a simple reason why. The real story is the engine. Otherwise, we've reviewed a whole bunch of fusions, tons. So what we really want to do is a zero to 60 run on our track to see how different this power plant is from the other power plants we've tested. It's a very small engine for a car this size. So we're gonna try a zero to 60 at high altitude. All right. Yeah, we're over a mile above sea level. It will affect it a little bit. So let's see what happens. I don't even know what traction control is on this thing. Uh, well, let's just do it regular, okay? So I'm just gonna go give it some juice. And away we go. Yeah, have some wheel spin. Yeah. 
Uh, there we go. 10.05. Now, keep in mind, this isn't an engine built for speed. EcoBoosts generally are equated with fast vehicles or very powerful vehicles. F-150 with the twin turbocharged V6 and whatnot. But in this case, we are talking about a vehicle that has a very efficient, look at it's averaging 30.3 miles per gallon right now. Let's try this one more time. And this time, I'm gonna start from flat. I'm not gonna give it any juice, although I think I should, but anyway, here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be slower for sure. By the way, 10 seconds isn't horrible. Eleven seconds. <laughs> Eleven seconds flat. Yeah, so it's faster if you uh, spool out the turbochargers. No surprise. Nothing special. The, the interior on this is probably the most uncomplicated one I've ever seen in any car. It's remarkably simple. And at the same time, it's comfortable. Even with Andre's horrible pimp light seating position, he's driving this car right now. I seriously have no idea how he can drive like this. Bottom line, ten point, basically ten seconds. It's not too bad. That's not bad at all, considering how small, I mean, 1.5 liter, that's tiny. That's what you put in a Fiat 500. It's tiny, 1.4 liter, but still, I mean, that's it's a very small, tiny little pistons. Folks, I gotta tell you, I'm actually kind of impressed. 10 seconds, zero to 60, when you're thinking about how high we are in elevation and how heavy that car is, and the fact that it has a tiny little 1.5 liter engine, that's impressive. Turbocharging in small engines, that's the wave of the future for a lot of these vehicles. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. This is actually kind of peppy. For the back. standing in front of the 
uh, Shelby GT350 Mustang. Probably the most track capable and street legal Mustang we've ever built. It's got a 5.2 liter flat plane crank V8. It's the first time Ford has put a flat plane crank in a production car. So efficiency is um, clearly on the minds of customers. So we've done that with technologies like EcoBoost engines. We like to bring in new technologies um, and then really kind of test them and prove them out and then eventually cascade them down to the entire line. This is Mark Schaller. I am the brand manager for the Shelby GT350. And behind me I have the all new 2016 Shelby GT350. Uh, so it is the most track capable and focused Mustang we've ever produced. It is more nimble and more agile than anything else that we at Ford Motor Company have uh, brought to the general public and we're very, very excited to bring this to you here direct from Laguna Seca Racetrack uh, in sunny California. So the heart of the Shelby GT350 is the 5.2 liter V8, which you see behind me. So it's got the flat plane crankshaft, which is gonna give the, the, the engine its unique sound and character that you'll hear behind me as these cars rip around Laguna Seca. And at the same time, it's gonna allow it to rev all the way up to 8250 RPM, which is the first time we've been able to do something like that in a Mustang. So it gives us a unique sound character. It provides a nice broad flat torque curve for use out of the racetrack, uh, improved breathability, lower spinning inertia for the engine. So all of that coupled together produces 526 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque, all from a naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V8. Normal mode has a little bit softer setting on the shocks. Uh, the exhaust valve is closed for the most part. When you switch to sport, it allows a little bit more wheel slip, a little bit more yaw angle. It opens the valve up to make the exhaust louder. The Magnaride shocks, um, they will stiffen to give you more, um, a better feel while out on the racetrack. When you go to track mode, it takes it even further. And so the, the electronic aids are less intrusive. So it allows even more yawing, it allows more wheel slip. It allows you to control the car to the level that you're comfortable. So depending on your skill level as a driver, you may want to start in sport and then you could flip it to track as you go around for your, your, your flying lap. Mm -hmm. um, or you can put it in track from the beginning. So one of the two settings I want you to be in the entire time. Also with this car, we've got a lot of technical innovation, a lot of chassis tuning that went in by our Ford Performance Engineer to make it the most track capable Mustang we've ever built. As you can hear behind me, it's one of the GT250 cars. Front stretch of Laguna Seca. Um, that part of the, the, the 5.2 liter V8 is what you hear behind me. Um, all of the engineers hard work has really gone into the tuning, the aerodynamics, the braking, and the balance of this entire car. Um, so from the A-pillar forward on this car, you'll have unique fenders, unique hood, unique front fascia, all dedicated to making sure we have minimized drag, but at the same time providing useful downforce and proper cooling to all the, or the critical engine components and critical pieces of this car to allow somebody to take it on the track for a track day and have it be able to run for, for multiple laps. That includes brake cooling, called engine oil transmission. The brakes are something very, very special about this car. We've got 15 and a half inch two-piece cross-drilled vented rotors up front with 14.9 inch rotors in the rear. There are six piston radial mounted brake calipers by Brembo up front and four piston fixed calipers in the rear. All of that put together with the cooling make this the most capable braking Mustang we've ever produced. The other thing I wanted to show you once you set your, your mode is in the track apps, which you'll access through this left-hand five-way switch, you'll go to select track apps, and then you want to go down to the shift indicator. So while on the shift indicator, there's three different modes. So there's a, a tack mode, a, dra uh, a drag mode, and a, and a race mode. So what I want you to do is pay attention to the top screen right there. It's kind of like a heads-up display. And hit OK on each of the modes one of them is going to cycle from left to right. The next one is going to cycle from out to in. 
and then the drag mode will just flash at you. So what you're gonna use this for is you're gonna set your desired RPM limit. So you can set the limit anywhere from 2,000 to 8,000 RPM and you can have it flash at you to let you know where you are in the rev range. So depending on if you want to see that where you're out on track or if you don't, you can turn it on or off okay. and then you can use that to let you know where you're at in the rev range. The good news about this car is you'll be able to hear it as well. The exhaust in this car is fantastic as you may have heard already. Um, so you'll, you'll really be able to tell where you're at but if you want to use this, I want you guys to be comfortable enough where you're going to set it before you leave. Okay. That way you don't have to think about when you're out on the track. Also, technology-wise, we have unique aluminum wheels that are lighter than the GT Performance Package. Um, and then on the GT350R, we have the first OEM, major OEM produced carbon fiber wheels. We have specially designed tires by Michelin uh, in conjunction with the Ford Performance Engineers that are specially designed with tread pattern, sidewall construction, and composition. So the Michelin Supersport tires on the GT350 track package behind me were um, designed and engineered in conjunction with the Ford Performance Engineers specifically for this car and specifically for the chassis tuning that the engineers have come up with. On the GT350R, the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, again, specially designed and developed for this car to give you the most grip out on the racetrack and give us the lateral performance that we need out of the car. The aerodynamics of this car are also something that's very, very special. I mentioned that from the A-pillar forward, it's unique for this very vehicle. Um, you've got integrated cooling. You have air curtains right here. You have uh, functional fender vents on the side. Um, there are connected to the, the front splitter is a, is a belly pan that kicks air up into the engine oil and transmission coolers. And on the rear of the car, the diffuser has dedicated venting that also kicks direct air into the differential cooler. So all together, track capable and track performance that you're going to need while you're out on the racetrack. So we have two distinct flavors to the GT350. We have the GT350 and the GT350R. Uh, the red one to my right is the GT350 with the track package, and the yellow one behind me is the GT350R. Some of the big differences between the two have a lot to do with aerodynamics um, and a lot to do with unsprung weight and chassis tuning. So in terms of aerodynamics, the GT350R has a unique splitter, which is larger to provide more downforce up front, and then a unique carbon fiber rear wing, which gives you more downforce in the rear, all to make it more stable and more aggressive out on the racetrack. Uh, the other big change between the 350 and the 350R has a lot to do with the chassis tuning, so it's got unique spars, unique springs, unique bars, and unique dampers to the car, uh, as well as the carbon fiber wheels with unique Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. These tires have been jointly developed between Ford Performance and Michelin with a unique tread pattern, a unique sidewall, and a unique uh, composition to them, all to coincide with the unique tuning that goes into 
to the GT350R. The carbon fiber wheels are the first time a major OEM has been able to put those into production on a mass produced car. They will produce less than, or they will, let me redo that part. <laughs> The carbon fiber wheels will be the first time that a major OEM has produced them on a mass production car and they will reduce the unsprung weight of the vehicle by 15 pounds per corner which reduces overall weight down by over 60 pounds on every car versus an equivalent aluminum wheel. That's going to provide sharper steering response and, and make the car feel much more light and much more nimble while out on a racetrack. Another unique feature on the GT350 and the GT350R is the MagnaRide dampers. This is the first time Ford Motor Company has utilized this technology. So Magna Heterological dampers, also known as MR, um, have a, a fluid in them that when passed through with electric current can change the viscosity of the shock. The MagnaRide shock provides super fast response time, which up to seven milliseconds the shock can respond to what it's sensing in the, the road. This will allow, whether it be on a racetrack, on a road course, uh, the, the chassis to respond much, much quicker than a standard suspension setup. It'll also allow us to have a varying degrees of, of suspension stiffness. So a traditional suspension, you either have to set up very, very soft or very, very hard, which can, uh, for an everyday driver, uh, you might want the suspension a little bit more soft, but when on a racetrack, you might want it much more stiff. The Magnarine dampers allow us the best of both worlds. When you're driving every day or driving to work or around the canyons, you can have a little bit softer, but yet when you come to a beautiful racetrack like Laguna Seca, you can put the car in track mode, stiffen up the suspension, and be ready to go. Aluminum, lighter, stronger, and more durable. Most modern fly reels and virtually all saltwater models are made from aluminum. Aluminum gives you the ideal balance of weight, strength, corrosion resistance, and durability. Check out a top-end reel, machined from blocks of aircraft-grade aluminum. 
Reels made from tougher aluminum can withstand more abuse from tough fish and tough conditions. And if toughness is your MO, check this out. The innovation of aluminum. The 2015 F-150 featuring a high strength, military grade aluminum alloy body, all the strength of steel and up to 700 pounds lighter than the previous model. With less of its own weight to haul around, it can tow more of yours. 12,200 pounds, the most of any half ton pickup. Oh yeah, best in class payload too. From fishing reels to the 2015 F-150, it makes all your gear tougher and better. To learn more, go to thefordoutfitters.com. first arrive at Cobo Hall and you come into the display area and you see Ford, you're going to be greeted by an EcoBoost activation area. And we'll show you what EcoBoost signature engine technology is all about. Then when you enter Ford, you'll come into our performance area inside the oval and you'll see our new three performance stars, the new GT, the GT350R Mustang and the new Raptor. And we're also showcasing kind of a history behind each nameplate with famous vehicles that have real pedigree around them, which is uh, really a, a treat for a lot of enthusiasts. We also have a gallery experience, and in that gallery you'll find a rich heritage uh, from Ford's history across motorsports and racing events of all kinds. The other big area inside Ford is Innovation Park. We've populated the park with species of plants that are actually used in our manufacturing processes all over the world. So we show you what they look like and then we tell you exactly how we use them in our manufacturing system. And then of course around the park we featured our newest and most content rich vehicles so that you can see what the latest and greatest features are in our product that provide convenience and safety and connectivity. We show you inside those vehicles technologies brought to life and then alongside we have little interactive touch tables which explain how some of these features work. Our message this year is clear that you know we're innovating in ways that are surprising for a lot of people and that's the story we'd like to tell here at the show. To me, it was very exciting to take on a challenge of a brand new product, and uh, really I was very excited and so was the entire team. This brought a lot of challenges, but also a lot of opportunities for us from safety because um, this was a brand new vehicle and we had the um, opportunity to put in some new design changes into the frame, into the body, and into our restraints. We worked very hard um, to get the five-star vehicle uh, safety rating and um, we did extensive testing and development. But I think we went above and beyond and did extremely well. As we went through, we did work a lot of weekends. We worked a lot of holidays as well to try to overcome some of the challenges, but it was all worth it because of the great results that the team delivered. And the opportunity to deliver a great product with great safety content, and it's gonna protect our customers. is something we're so proud of. We don't mind making the extra sacrifice. I think there's um, a commitment to make the world a better place. I always think back on that as we're going through and working on the truck. What if it's me in that seat? Or it's my kids? I would say it is the safest F-150 ever. And it's that way because of the passion and dedication of the people at Ford that uh, strove to deliver the safest vehicle we could.
When I think of quality, I think of a satisfied customer. Quality means every day we raise the bar. Quality is a flawless paint job. Quality is voice of the customer. Here at Ford's Oakville Assembly, approximately 4,500 employees come in every day to build the new Ford Global Edge. We're extremely excited about the product here, and we've done a, a many things at the plant to help improve the processes, to ensure we build a high quality product for the entire world. We've invested about $700 million to transform the facility, and in addition, we've hired about 1,400 new employees that are extremely excited to build this product. We have one of the most innovative new 3D technologies and a dirt detection equipment. Here we use a series of 16 high definition cameras that locate paint imperfections on the vehicle. We look up on a board and are told exactly where to look to work on the car to improve the finish, which essentially improves customer satisfaction. We're standing in our new clear coat automation cell where we recently installed six new robots and two boosts to improve film build, appearance, and luster of our vehicles. We've also added 250 robots to the system and reprogrammed a thousand more. These robots are very sophisticated using next-gen technology. Some of them have vision systems that allow for very precise accuracy and repeatability, providing us with the best quality that we've produced. We've also added our new laser braze booths. Use silicon bronze wire and uh, laser as a heat source to bond the roof to the body sides. Gives us a more precise seam, stronger, and a much better finish for the customer. Once we reach the end of line, we inspect every vehicle for quality and fit and finish. Behind me, the Vehicle on Wheels robotic vision cell is a piece of tooling that we installed to measure every vehicle for door fit, hood fit, and lift gate fit. Using laser and optical sensors, we measure every vehicle to ensure we are in specification and meeting customer expectations. These are just a few examples of the advancements and innovations we've made here at Oakville Assembly. But here, when we think of high quality, we think of our skilled and motivated team building the best quality product for the world. Your vehicle may be equipped with a front view camera located on the front grille. It's a system that is designed to be used as an aid in off-road conditions, such as rock climbing, slow speed maneuvering, and cresting hills when the front view may otherwise be obstructed through the windshield. It provides a video image of the area in front of the vehicle, which appears on the My Ford Touch screen. The camera system can be used at speeds of less than 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. To use the front off-road camera system, you must have off-road mode engaged and the electronic locking differential engaged. or four-wheel low engaged. You can now enable the front camera system. While in park, use the steering wheel controls to scroll through the menu in the productivity screen. Select truck apps and scroll through the options to front camera disabled. Use the OK button to enable the front camera. Place the gear shift lever into D or drive to see the image on the screen. Active guidelines will show the path of intended forward motion of the vehicle while in drive. The fixed guidelines will assist you to align with an object in front of the vehicle. To use the active guidelines, turn the steering wheel to point the active guidelines toward an intended path. The fixed and active guidelines will fade in and out depending on the steering wheel position. When the steering wheel position is straight, the active guidelines will be covered by the fixed guidelines and will not be shown. Remember though, the active guidelines should be used as a reference only. Always use caution while moving forward. Objects in the red zone are closest to your vehicle, and objects in the green zone are further away. Objects are getting closer to your vehicle as they move from the green zone to the yellow or red zones. To keep the front camera clean, just rotate the front camera washer control located on the stock to the left of the steering column. A quick note though, the off-road camera system is an off-road aid only. It should always be used in conjunction with the driver's view out the front window. The exact process used to test and validate durability for the new F-150 is intensive, thorough, and unrelenting. As we come out with better trucks, customers do more with their trucks. They load more in their trucks, they haul more in their trucks, they take their trucks over more extreme conditions. 
as we advance, all of our lab testing and our outside testing also advances. We're subjecting this vehicle to the roughest, toughest profiles of vehicle input that we can find in nature. This four-door key life test is going 184,000 cycles at 10 foot-pounds per second. We go to minus 40 C, making sure everything will function properly. Durability testing starts in a lab, thousands of hours of tests, and it eventually turns into thousands of hours and millions of miles in real-world testing we do. Extensive corrosion testing is fundamental to proving the durability of the new aluminum alloy. First, a hard run through dust, gravel, mud, and salt before a devastatingly caustic shower. Throughout the test, we get it uh, sprayed with acid to really aggressively accelerate corrosion. Then it's into the steam room to cook for a while. It's in the humidity chamber for 20 hours and it cycles between 50 and 95% humidity at 122F. Red rust doesn't happen with aluminum. It's better for corrosion performance. F-150 test vehicles run cycle after cycle of tests over agonizing surfaces like rumble strips, cobblestones, and chopped concrete. We punish the suspension, the steering, all the metals, all the joints. One of the important things for us was joining uh, the high-strength aluminum alloys with rivets. That joint has to make it over the entire life of the vehicle. Accelerated durability testing can simulate years of use in just a matter of weeks, and they do it in the most adverse conditions possible. We test in extreme cold and extreme hot because our customers actually take our trucks all over the continent. We've been testing at Davis Dam for 30 years. It's become an industry standard set by SAE. It's the unique combination of how steep it is, how long it is, and the heat that you get. It never lets up. It is an absolute pure test of the mechanical and system capabilities. The day we leave Davis Dam, we take the same vehicles and we drive 10 hours to the Borrego State Park to do off-roading. The same vehicles that were just tortured up Davis Dam, climbing rocky hills, descending rocky hills, high speed, low speed, getting yourself out of ruts, dialing in what customers do in absolute compressed extreme test. Durability is our key, and all our customers know that. But they don't get to see this. We're letting them see it through these videos. Coming soon, you'll see how the all-new 2015 F-150 not only changes what trucks are made of, but how they're made. You put in four hours before the nine to fivers even show up. You don't commute every day, you commute every 15 minutes. And you don't drive to an office, your van is your office. For you, Ford created a different kind of full-size van. Ford Transit with EcoBoost. Efficient where it counts and built Ford Tough. And so customizable, it'll fit any business like a work glove. If your work is harder than most, it just got a lot easier. Learn more at Ford.com. This is Ford Transit. right in the middle of launching the brand new 2015 Mustang. And for the very first time, we're gonna be now exporting this product to over 120 markets around the world. So we are right now gearing up for the early exports to Asia Pacific. The Mustang is well known throughout the world, um, regardless of what country they're in. And it's gonna be exciting that if you go to Italy or Ireland or China, you're gonna see a little piece of Flat Rock, Michigan in all those countries. You know, for 50 years, it's been a North American car. You know, you had some wealthy people around the globe that were able to import a vehicle. So, you know, people have seen them, but they've never been able to actually walk into a dealership and buy them. And the excitement of them being able to actually walk into a dealership and purchase a Mustang on their, uh, on their own soil is uh, gotta be a very exciting uh, feeling for them, finally. Amalgation is, uh, is getting the car ready to be shipped internationally to whatever, wherever the country it's going to. 
They're brought into the shop, they're undercoated, with undercoating on, their, on the undercarriage. They're then brought through the car wash and washed and then a protective wrap's placed on them. These Mustangs are going to both Korea and China. I think it's great to see that the, the Mustangs are going to be uh, available at dealerships uh, in other countries. We're going to Asia Pacific, so obviously China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and then we get into the European countries next uh, early next year. It's an iconic piece of America, homegrown in the Motor City, built right here in Flat Rock, Michigan, shipping to customers globally, and it's pretty exciting to be a part of that. Being able to export this product around the globe is a huge growth opportunity for us on the site, and we recognize that and the responsibility that we have to ensure that every customer that buys one of our cars, that they have just a fantastic ownership experience with, uh, with the Mustang. And this new product drives fantastically. It handles like a dream. It really is a true uh, world-class sports car. We're here today at the Windsor Essex Engine Plant to take a look at the technology that we've developed and implemented for the new 5.2 liter V8 engine that powers our Shelby GT350R Mustang. To feed and exhaust this engine, to deliver the horsepower to make a car what it is today, a large valve train was necessary. And this meant that traditional sleeves for cylinder walls really couldn't be used they had to come up with a completely new approach. And this was achieved through plasma transferred wire arc technology. This technology uses high powered electricity in a plasma cloud to vaporize wire. And then that wire is then sprayed to a prepared bore. It's cooled and then it's precisionly machined. So for the 5.2 liter V8, Ford brought this process in house to the Ford Essex engine plant. Along with new proprietary innovation, that delivered lighter engines and enhanced durability. This journey of this innovative technology continues to take our workforce here on a, on a learning journey, which is really important. So while our customers can't directly see the hand of our work, I know that those who get behind the wheel of our products, such as the GT350, they'll feel the dedication and the excellence of the entire Ford team. I'm taking the Ford F-150 across the country from job site to job site to demonstrate how we own work. If you want to get ahead, it's not enough to work harder, you got to work smarter. The F-150 helps you do just that by making it easier to access the bed. Oh, hey guys. Here, check this out. We're going to be loading stuff in from the sides. Step right there. We gotta step in the back, make things a lot easier. Just like that. Right? 
And easy out. The step and the handle completely disappear when you store them, so you can slide cargo across the tailgate without catching. And you can open and lower the tailgate remotely, even when your hands are full. Nice. This is hard, heavy work, but it's repetitive. So if you can save your knees here, your arms there, at the end of the day, it pays off, and you get more done. Very nice, I like that. Isn't that, that. nice? A pickup can't load itself, but the F-150 sure helps. The F-150 is making every other truck history. It's day one of the Platinum Adventure Tour. Uh, this kicks off uh, nine cities, 25 days, 187 drivers, and over 2,700 miles on this thing. Although we can't control the weather, it's raining here in Vancouver. Uh, we do know that we have lots of adventures in store. Now we ended up in beautiful Kamloops, Canada. On the way over, something crazy happened. The sun came out of the sky, the clouds cleared, and the rain went away. Well, there's a weird insight that I think we've stumbled upon. For some reason, people love graffitiing a you know $50,000 plus vehicle, and they have been really into it. So it's been really interesting to see the creativity that's come about on Explore. Ready to cross British Columbia all the way to Calgary eventually in the brand new Ford Explorer. Uh, the drive was awesome. The view of the like snow-capped mountains is so gorgeous.
My name's Brian Schober. I work as a test engineer for a defense contractor here in Arizona. I work in a pretty extreme environment, temperatures in the 110 to 115 range all summer long. The modern battlefield, it's rugged. It's sand, it's rocks, it's gravel, it's extreme heat, it's extreme cold. So the Army tests their fielded systems here first to make sure they're acceptable for uh, soldier fielding. I logged on to the Ford site and saw there was an opportunity to test the F-150, put it through its paces on a real-world challenge. So that's my fun, that's my hobby, beating up cars. So I put the application in and uh, here we are. The course is a 5.4 mile loop. It's not a controlled course. It's nature at its best here in the heat. Temperatures would be uh, 105 to 108. Running it across the same course over and over again over 36 hours. I go through trucks like Candy, looking forward to see how she does. Peter. Hey Brian, how are you? I'm vehicle engineering manager on the all new F-150. I'd say we uh, go meet the course. Sure, let's roll. 2015 F-150 being 700 pounds lighter in aluminum body. I'm curious to see how this is gonna hold up. Going to aluminum, it's a game changer. One thing I'm skeptical of is how it's gonna handle out here in the heat. I'm hoping that this type of truck will be able to withstand it. We've put a lot of effort in the uh, suspension design, both in the front and in the rear. It can actually take this surface and just heat it up. Here's a, a good one for the articulation over the cattle guard. The fully boxed frame helps stiffness. And here's a little bit of the washboard surface. Yep. These are actually pretty severe washboards and then the suspension really is just sucking them up. It's really smooth. With the weight reductions, you actually get a lower center of gravity that keeps the vehicle more planted. The fact that we're able to sit here and comfortably have a conversation while barreling along is a heck of a testament right there. <laughs> we're at the start of our loop, start of our 5.4-mile uh, loop. Same thing that the military trucks go through. This course is designed to do that. We've got the hills, we've got the trails. Just beats a car up. It's a realistic course we can do again and again and again. This is reality. You're never going to get this on a test track somewhere. No. You know, this no, is it's... just the desert as it's handed to you. All right, let's keep moving. the hill climb portion. We'll leave it in two-wheel drive. I do have the e-locker on. An updated version of the old mechanical locker, like a mountain goat. <laughs> traction control also sends left to right, so you will get the most traction where it's needed. It does seem to be a complete package, from the tires to the suspension to the stiffened frame and the aluminum body. This completes the endurance test of the 2015 F-150 here in Phoenix, Arizona. 36 hours, 500 miles. It's a heck of a track. Uh, it's ready for your work site, it's ready for your construction site, it's ready for your farm, it's ready for your daily commute to work. No questions, no concerns. Came in skeptical, nothing has broken, nothing has failed. Just awesome. Hi, I'm Brenda, and this is another one of South Florida Ford Summer Hacks. to go mountain biking. And when people hear that, they're like, where are the trails in South Florida? But there are actually a lot of great mountain bike trails in South Florida, like this one here, Virginia Key and Key Biscayne. So today I'll be showing you how to take your bike wherever you want to go in the fastest and easiest way. Today I'm driving the 2015 Ford Escape. I love it because it's light and sporty and it's the perfect car to get me to and from the mountain bike trail. So if I want to do a quick ride in the morning, I'd use this easy, collapsible, compact bike rack to take my bike. It's not that expensive and it's perfect to put on our 2015 Ford Escape today. That's how you mount a bike on a 2015 Ford Escape.
heart pounding. By design. I'm Kristen Kacharek. I've been a big Ford fan for a long time. I own a Ford truck, I pull a horse trailer, and I'm the mother of six. So when they invited me to Ford's Michigan Proving Ground to check out the all new Super Duty, I said, let's go. And with the help of my friends, I'm gonna show you some of its new smart features. One of the new smart innovations is camera technology. This truck has up to seven cameras and it's amazing how they can assist the driver. The system always starts with a 360 view. You activate it with the camera button. It uses the front camera, two side view cameras in the mirrors, and the rear camera. The images are stitched together. That gives you the 360 degree view. This allows you to see what's on the ground around your truck. Okay, now let's take a look at the views you get from the front camera. There's a normal front view, or push the button to see a 180 degree split view. This split view literally lets you peek around the corners to make sure the coast is clear. It even has its own washer and there's a split view for the tailgate camera too. Now, let's talk towing. The new Super Duty makes hooking up and maneuvering conventional, gooseneck or fifth wheel trailers easier. First, the rear view camera lets you see what your eyes can as you back up. And it has this awesome zoom button. It gives you a closer look when you're lining up the hitch. It helps you get it right the first time, every time. To show you the next couple of new smart towing features, we're switching trucks. The all new Super Duty is available with a new camera built into the center high mounted stop lamp on the back of the cab. And that lets you see down into the cargo bed. It makes lining up your gooseneck or fifth wheel a snap. Here's a new feature on the all new Super Duty that trailer towers are really gonna love. It's a remote trailer camera you attach to the back of your trailer. Now you can see what's behind your trailer when you're in reverse. Earlier, I mentioned seven cameras. That's six. Where's number seven? It's right here, integrated into the rear view mirror. It doesn't display an image, but it is an important part of Super Duty's other great driver assist features, like lane keeping assist. And this is just the beginning of the smart technologies in the all new Super Duty. Active front steering makes it easier to maneuver the truck in tight spots because you don't have to turn the wheel as much. Adaptive cruise control alerts you if you're getting too close to the vehicle in front of you and can even automatically slow you down. And we're all familiar with low tire pressure warning systems. Well, the all new Super Duty can also alert you if your trailer tire pressure is low. You can see smart thinking everywhere you look. Even the floor behind the front seats was designed so it's flat and easy for you to load cargo. Speaking of loading cargo, you can drop your tailgate with the click of a button. It's easy to see why this is the smartest Super Duty ever. Too. What's going on with the seat? <laughs> I felt the bottom. I feel the sides. Oh, now I can feel it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, is that the, the new feature or something? Is that massage chair seats? I'm just digging this chair. That's nice. Long day at work, hopping your car. Throw that on the way home. I don't want to get out. <laughs> Oh yeah, feels good. Yeah, now I don't want to go back to work. What are you doing? What are you guys doing to me? I could stay in here all day. I'm not kidding. It's nice.
Hey baby. Are you almost home? Actually, just pulling in the driveway right now. See you in a minute.
are you guys? I need those groceries to start dinner. Vaughn? You there? Hello? Palo Alto Research and Innovation Center is really dedicated to really uh, being a part of the Silicon Valley innovation community and being a, a, a location that we can draw innovation through networking with universities, with local startup companies and also Silicon Valley companies and bring that innovation to Ford, influencing our future Ford products. Key things we're going to be looking on, we're going to be working on autonomy, we're going to be working on connectivity, the user experience, making sure that we bring the customer and the, and the user interface in, in a seamless fashion to, for our customers. We're going to be working on analytics and big data, trying to understand what our customers want and come up with unique and innovative ways to satisfy the customer. So the way we've set the lab up is we've got engineers and designers doing that work. We've got a number of labs down on the first floor, immersion labs and other 3D printing labs and so on where we can really bring those ideas to reality. And then we've also got garage space in the new facility too so that we can actually instrument vehicles, rework vehicles and, and put them on the road. But the opportunity here is, is for us to, to tap into innovative technologies that can influence both our product as well as how we look at mobility in the future. So we're excited to be able to have this on the ground. It's a great facility with uh, great labs, uh, great capabilities, and it's going to continue to grow, grow um, especially with the competencies that we're going to be able to hire and put in place. Here. is the all-new Ford F-150 Raptor. Raptor is the ultimate high-performance off-road pickup. This is what you get when Ford's passion for performance vehicles is combined with our obsession with making the world's best trucks. The all-new Raptor pushes the limits of what a full-size pickup can be. It's our toughest, smartest, and most capable Raptor ever. All-new Raptor starts with a purpose-built, high-strength steel frame specially engineered for high-performance off-roading. As for smartest, Raptor has an all-new, next-generation, high-output, 3.5-liter EcoBoost engine that is more powerful than Raptor's current V8. Now we've paired this new EcoBoost engine with an all new 10-speed transmission that improves driving 
and fuel efficiency. An all new smart terrain management system optimizes Raptor's driving dynamics for different environments. From street performance, to desert running and rock crawling, to snow and ice. Now in terms of most capable, the standard Fox racing shocks are larger and provide more wheel travel than ever before. Plus, the 500 pounds we saved versus today's Raptor through innovations like the new high-strength aluminum alloy body helps the all-new off-roader glide over tough terrain. Now, as you can see, the all-new F-150 Raptor is built to live off-road. A drifting speed freak takes new Ford Sync 3 for a spin. Let's party. We won't be needing that. What, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, where's my harness? It's a simulator. It doesn't even have wheels. Well, I need some kind of safety. She was a little starstruck. Drifter? He doesn't look homeless. See if you can do all that in 20 seconds. No problem, I got this. Wow, this footage is amazing. Oh, that's my race car. <laughs> Eyes on the road, hotshot. Find a Mexican restaurant. Please say a line number. I love Mexican food. In Mexico, it's just called food. Find Valley Summit Mall. Finding Valley Summit Mall. And this thing is crazy fast. Very fast. Call mom. Calling mom. Hi, honey. Yeah, Mom, cool story. Gotta go. Love you. Bye. Woo! Yeah! If Sync 3 is fast enough for Vaughn, discover how it can keep you connected now in a Ford. Woo! Good job. We're well the winner done. chicken dinner! Chicken dinner? Maybe some waffles. The high performance of Sync 3. That's what's next. Woo! It looks like a car wash, but in actual fact, it's a giant feather duster. This machine at Ford's Valencia plant is used to deliver a perfect finish on the paintwork of the cars built here. Ostrich feathers were chosen because they remove tiny particles of dust without building up static. The dusting machine is just one part of the process that provides a perfect paint job at the Valencia plant. Robots are used to spray the cars with three coats of paint. A separate system uses digital cameras to identify paint defects. Ford has invested 2.3 billion euros to make the Valencia plant one of the world's most advanced. It's home to the Cougar, S-Max and Mondeo, including top-of-the-range Vignale models. The Galaxy, Transit Connect and Torneo Connect are also built here. Vehicle assembly starts with the body. Laser-guided robots weld each panel together to form a complete shell. Software for the SYNC entertainment system is uploaded by Wi-Fi and the audio tested. And to check everything still sounds right once the vehicle moves, there's a virtual road test inside the plant and a rattle and squeak circuit outside. In the new state-of-the-art Vignale Center for Ford's upscale Vignale models, each model is hand-finished by six master craftspeople. A new vehicle rolls up the production line every 40 seconds and the cars made here are distributed to 75 countries around the world. Mother Nature can turn in an instant. Don't turn back. Introducing the new 2016 Ford Explorer. Be unstoppable. This is my fight song. I'm Nick Wiswell, Audio Creative Director at Turn 10 Studios. My role is to oversee the audio production for everything that you hear in the game. My big question was, how are we going to make the sound for the car in the game? The car didn't exist yet. A lot of this is based on fluid dynamics. Think of a car engine as a brass instrument. In the middle, you have an engine that's making a pulsing sound. And at the front end, that's the intake, where the air's getting sucked in. And at the back end, that's the exhaust sound, where the air's getting blown out. Now, those two things, combined with the mechanical sound of the engine, make up the sound of the car. Now, like with any brass instrument, if you adjust the length or the diameter of the piping, it changes the note. 
So by understanding from Ford that it was a V6, which gives us our core harmonic, we had a pretty good idea of exactly what the car was going to sound like before it was actually built. The Ford GT is one of the biggest cars that's going to be launching in the next few years, and we wanted to make sure we did it just this. An unsuspecting Nana is turned loose on new Ford Sync 3. Have a seat and enjoy. Imagine you're on a nice Sunday drive. Ooh, I can call anyone just by saying their name. That's how it works. I feel like a spaceman. I still use dial-up. <laughs> Call Nicholas. Calling Nicholas. That's my grandson. Hey, this is Nick. Sorry I missed you. Screening his calls. How about some music? Mobile applications. Pandora. Play smooth jazz. Playing smooth jazz. Great choice. Very relaxing. It's like driving in the future, but not. OK. Play pop love songs. Play classical. Play rancid henchmen of Hades. Play the down and dirty twerks. Playing down and dirty twerks. If Sync 3 can rock Nana's world, discover how it can keep you connected now in a Ford. Sync 3 with simple music search. That's what's next. Adventurous guy. Car is awesome. I don't really know how to grab a stick. Oh, really? Do you want me to drive it? No. Let me drive it. I'll show you what this thing can do. Um, so what do you like to do for fun like on the weekend? Go to a lot of music festivals. Um, I like to write. Uh yeah, I think you might want to shift that. Sorry. I like to play the drums and the bass guitar. Uh, I'm a ninja. What? I'm a ninja. I like to ride my bike, I like to exercise and work out, go rock climbing. That's cool. I like to go to live theater. I'm really well-rounded, actually. Well, you might want to shift it again. This is all right. I'm just going to go up here and turn around. Oh, yeah. Car. I'm a professional stunt driver. <laughs> and you've just been on Ford Mustang speed dating. Oh! <laughs> the camera here. here. Holy <laughs> so what do you think? I guess you're showing me how to drive this thing, aren't you?
evacuated. Turn left after 200 yards. I think it's one thing to travel, and it's another thing to explore. Ah, yeah. We could have just hurried our way across the country, but we wanted to take our time with the kids. <laughs> Let them see things off the beaten path. <laughs> Adventure comes in those surprises. It comes when you're out of your comfort zone. This is a deeper, fuller, bigger adventure than I've ever been on.
All my best memories from childhood happened off the beaten path. I want that same thing for my kids. When Ford came to us with this opportunity, you know, you'd think it'd be a no-brainer. But in all reality, it wasn't. All right, you ready? Crossing the entire country from Portland to Portland, using only the back roads, that's just not an easy task. We've been talking about a trip like this for years. We would be on dirt roads, back roads, take a different journey across the country. Look up and right. Nice. We knew the kids would miss a little bit of school, but the hands-on learning and adventures that they're having <laughs> can't be replaced. You're gonna love this one, Zion. Kids are so overscheduled. They're pulled in so many different directions. <laughs> and to just give them this opportunity to stop and breathe and take it all in, that's a gift. <laughs> They're just at this great age, knowing that there's just such a short window before they get to their teen years, because it will go fast. Think of all the great stories they're going to have to tell. Think of the experiences they're going to have with us that aren't theory, that aren't something they read in a book. Actual adventures they had with their parents. Going on a road trip with a five-year-old you definitely learn to be flexible. <laughs> that this is what you want to do. Kick your mom, you know, throw your shoes. But let's see what happens. Life is unscripted. Adventure isn't always on the map. You have to go find it. And I think we're learning that one road at a time. This is a great feature. Check out the auxiliary switchboard on the center console. You'll find four pre-wired switches attached to the power distribution box that you can use for electrical accessories like light bars, winches, and more. They will only operate when the ignition is in the on position, whether the engine is running or not. It is, however, recommended that the engine remain running to maintain battery charge when using the switches for extended duration or higher current draws. The switch control relays and fuses are located under the hood in the auxiliary power distribution box. Raptor is equipped with a powerful 6.2 liter engine that will power you just about anywhere you want to go. And the 6-speed transmission is the same one used in the Raptor R that ran the Baja 1000 and the 2010 Dakar, finishing first in class. Behind the transmission, you'll find a rear axle that is wider for extra track width. And that extra width puts more stresses on the axle, so the rear axle tubes are thicker wall steel, and the axle shafts themselves are bigger in diameter than F-150. The Electronic Locking Differential, or ELD, locks the two rear axle shafts together, so they both turn at the same speed and give each rear tire the same amount of torque. In the Raptor, you can engage the ELD simply by pulling out this 4x4 control knob. This can be done at any speed when off-road mode is engaged. And while you're in off-road mode, ELD stays engaged all the way up to top speed. The front axle features a Torsen helical front differential, designed by the SVT team and Torsen specifically for Raptor. It delivers enhanced low-speed trail and climbing capability while maintaining high-speed prowess. Under normal conditions, the axle equipped with a torsion differential functions like a standard axle. Keep in mind, though, while running in 4x4 high or low, the steering may give you more feedback due to the torsion front differential. Also up at the front axle, the half shafts are another important story. These are specifically made for Raptor, and they're proven in the Baja 1000.
Let's go inside and talk about some of Raptor's special features. Now, Raptor's seats are not only handsome, leather seating surfaces with eye-catching accent trim and the Raptor badge embossed on the seat back, they're built for, well, Raptor. With extra bolstering in the front seats for more comfort and support when the going gets tough. Raptor's gauges are easy to read at a glance. And the black leather wrapped steering wheel is designed with thumb pads and an orange stripe at the top as an on-center indicator. That's a nice little extra that comes in really handy when the road gets a little uneven or there's no road at all. The center stack and console are both unique to Raptor. The 2016 F-150 can make you a trailer hero by preventing trailer fails. While using the reverse camera to watch a trailer, the driver takes her hands off the steering wheel and simply turns the Pro Trailer Backup knob left or right to steer the trailer. The truck steers itself, placing the trailer where you want it to go. The result, less time to back up a trailer with improved confidence. It even helps experienced trailer towers back a trailer faster. Be a trailer hero at the boat launch with Pro Trailer Backup. This is the Ford F-150, the only pickup with a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body bolted to a high-strength steel frame. It's also a wake-up call for every full-size pickup in its class. No body rust, most towing, best payload, highest gas mileage. Yeah, it's a whole new day, because in the truck game, it's either the aluminum age or the stone age. Cock-a-doodle-doo, pal. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history.